वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे वाहे गुरु वाहे It's a great prala Maharaj has blessed us with. I'm not a Gyani, I'm just a regular Bandha. I've had to spend the whole week researching this body, just to, to make clear. Um, although, as they always call us Bacche, but we're not really Bacche anymore. I'm 33 years old uh, and we've got kids, so <laughs> they are Bacche. So really, we're just arm uh and the adults. So, Maharaj Sikirpanal, we're now in the 21st body of Japji Sahib. And in this body, Gunan Dev Ji carries on from last week, the 20th body. We talked about love. We talked about Mara saying, ki, if you are dirty with Pap, then the way to wash, that wash with the love of the name. Don't just, don't just chant the name, feeling guilty, chant it with love. And then Mara went on to explain that although there is love, there's also this aspect that there is a system that we're trapped inside. And that system is that whatever ape beach, ape eco. Whatever we do, we get the fall of that. And we understand that in real life, and in this in this spiritual life, it's the same thing. What we sow, that's what we will reap. And within the hukum, actually, there's a very important part that we shouldn't be blaming anybody else. Kunandeji says in his bani, I was looking for, I didn't say this Shabbat last time, but I had it in my notes. Maharaj says, Dadda dos na deo kise, dos karami apaniya. Dadda, Maharaj is talking in Patti Lekhi, when they were young they wrote this. They said that, Dadda, they were like Akha Dadda, don't give blame to anybody else. Don't give blame to anybody else. Everything that we get is our own karam, karam apaniya. Maharaj says, Jo mein kiya, so mein paaya. Whatever I did, that's what I got back. Jo mein kiya so mein paaya, dos na dije avar jana. Shouldn't blame anybody else. So it's a big sign here that actually everything that we do affects us. And Maharaj also says in Asa Diwar ki, ki apan hati apana, ape hi kaal sawari. Everything's in our own hands, so we can do them ourselves. Maharaj kirpa kare to bless all of us with the gyan that they've given us, and with the strength to walk on their path. And that's what Maharaj goes on now in this body to talk about. And Guruji starts off with in this body, Tirat Tap Daya Tat Daan Je Ko Paave Til Kaman Sunya Manya Man Kita Pao Antar Kat Tirat Mar Nao Sab Gun Tere Mai Na Hi Koi Vin Gun Kite Pagat Na Hoi Swast Aat Bani Bar Mao Sat Suhan Sada Man Chao Kavan Suvela Vakt Kavan Kavan Thit Kavan Var कवन सुरुति माहो कवन जित होवा आकार वेर ना पाया पंडिती जे होवे लेख पुराण वक्त ना पायो का दिया जे लिख लेख कुरान थित वार ना जोगी जाने रुत महाना कोई जा करता सिर्थी को साजे आपे जाने सोई किव कर आखा किव साला ही क्यों वरनी किव जाना नानक आखन सब को आखे एक दू एक सियाना वड़ा साहिब वड़ी नाई कीता जा का होवे नानक जे को आपो जाने अगे ग्याना सो है 
तीर्थ तप दयादत दान जे को पावे तिल का मान वाहिगुरु जी का खालसा वाहिगुरु जी की फतेह सो मारज गोस ऑन द सिड्स आस्क गुरु जी फ्रॉम द लास्ट टाइम यू टोल्ड अस इट्स ऑल अबाउट कर्म एवरीथिंग्स इन आवर हैंड्स दे से सो टेल अस समथिंग इफ वी आर टू वॉश आवरसेल्व्स विद द लव ऑफ नेम एंड एवरीथिंग्स इन आवर हैंड्स is it possible to avoid going back into the june the jurassic era like june the 8.4 million life cycle by simply doing things like tirat and daya and these things so mara says then that there's two types of actions and in the first line the first two lines they describe the 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 kind of actions that don't get you out of this jurassic era like june and the second two they describe the ones that do So Mara says, "Tirat tap daya da dan, je ko pawe til kaman." That's the first two. And Mara is basically saying that these actions, you only get a sesame seeds worth of respect. Now I'll go through them in a minute. And then in the next one, Mara says, "Kis sunya manya man kita pawe antar gat tirat mandam." So Mara says, "This is what we should do." So the, they've given the don't do this, but Tan Guru Nanak Sahib Ji being Guru, they only teach us what to do. Not just criticize us. A lot of people in the world they just criticize, criticize, criticize. They haven't got a solution. Malas comes with a solution. Malas says, "Ki sunya maniyaman ki ta pao antaragat tirath manna." So we talk about those two lines. Tirath. Now, tirath in the old Indian, uh, even before we came on the stage, um, the the Dardis they were talking about artha tirath. There is a place, a gurdwara, that if you go there, it's equivalent to going to the 68 pilgrimage sites. So Tirat, they ask Guru Ji, should say, what's the good of going to Tirat? Because people go to Tirat in India all the time. The Mara says, Tirat, one more thing doesn't work. Tap, tap samjam means to put yourself through some hard penance. Maybe put your hand up in the air like this. Maybe do something that you think is going to please God. The Mara says that that tap, daya, even stuff like in uh, daya, there's people like of religions. who feel that they should be compassionate to every single living being so therefore they sweep the floor before they walk the jains they don't want to kill a single thing they go this is a form of showing compassion for every living being so mara is saying that tirath is not going to wash you and gurbani says ki andro jhoothe paij bahar duniya andar phail 68 tirath je na ve utre na hi mai That we won't get rid of our mal by washing at the tirath. Mara says that anek tapasya kare hankar. You do so much tapasya, tap kare hankar. You get pride of it. So bah bah pe kia dehi duk dia. Mara talks about that you did all these outward things. You even gave your body pain, but it doesn't do anything. Then Guru says even they are uh, in dat dan. Dat can have two meanings. One meaning is. He is to control your senses. So you have your five senses, where you get, um, you see the world, uh, you touch the world, you hear the world. Mara says, control those things. Now people that control those things, they feel they've achieved something. But Mara says, even this cannot mean cannot mean that you achieve what Guru wants us to achieve. And then, dat dan can become one word as well. The two of them can combine, and dat dan means giving in charity. Now obviously we say it's important to give in charity but some people they say like in you see people uh for a good example is if you go to any uh, any temple in India there's beggars outside especially amongst the the muslim faith uh if you go to any mosque like I went to Babri Masjid in in Delhi you'll have people outside and people go and give them money because they feel that by giving money to this person they're washing their sins off now these things have been lumped in together as scam Scam is opposite to nishkam. With scam, you you've got a desire. This is what this body is now coming to us, desire. And Maharaj is telling us that these things that you do, tap, tira, tap, daya, dat, dan, you're doing them with a desire. And therefore, jeko, jeko, those people that do that, pave, what do they get? Til kaman. Til is a sesame seed. You know we have sesame seed plants. Look at tiny little til. <laughs> Man says, "This much man you get for doing these things. Man is respect. Till ka man. 
So what Guru Sahib says is, imagine you do these things, O Sibs, or even us, some people feel that going somewhere uh, special will wash their sins off. But Guru Sahib tells us next what should we do. But imagine the Sid saying, can I escape from this Rasul Akjun? Guru Sahib says, if you did these things, you might get to see heaven for five minutes or one minute. You get to see it, then you go back into Chirasi Dakhjun. You're denied it forever. It's not Amr. It's not forever, forever. It's just for a little bit. You get a little bit of respect. Then they say, so what should we do? Mala says, ki, sunya manya man kita pao antar gat tirat manna. What Guru Sahib says is, if you want to get this properly, then you need to do sarvan, sunya. Sarvan means your ears to listen. So the first thing you must do is listen. You say, okay. For us, obviously, it's Gurbani. And Mara says in Gurbani, he says, Amrit Bani Har Har Teri Sun Sun Hove Param Gat Meri. Or why Guru Yobani is like Amrit. And that, as I listen to it, I get the highest state. So this Gurbani is our Pandar, as they were singing a minute ago. This treasure that we've been given has this power. Sunya. The next bit is Mannya. Mannya can mean having faith. But it's not blind faith. It's faith from having, having actually seen the power of it. So Sharda is something that we ask Guruji for. We experience Gurbani, we get some Sharda. Sunya, Mannya. Mannya means from Mannan, means to have some faith, means to convince your mind, to know, to understand it, and then accept it as the truth. Like he says in Gurbani ki, Sat Guru ki Bani, Sat Sat kar jano sikho. Guru sikho, Maharaj is talking to us, Guru, Guru Ram Das, he says ki, Sat Guru ki Bani, Sat Sat kar mano, Guru sikho. Har karta, Vahe Guru ji, Har karta, Aap muho kadai. That Guru, Guru ji is saying ki, the Bani that I'm speaking now, to accept this as the very truth because, Vahe Guru themselves is taking it out of their mouth. Guru, Guru uh, Ram Das is saying, don't doubt this Bani, it's come from Vahe Guru direct. Har karta a muho, muho kadai. Unu bar kar rea, Vahe Guru ji. So, the next bit Maharaj says ki, sunna manya, and then follow it. Man kita, man kita means to follow, and the word for that in traditional Punjabi is nidhyasan. So you have the listening, you have the faith, you accept it, now you have to do it. Nidhyasan. It's similar to, uh, let's say you got a disease and you went to a doctor. You went to a doctor, doctor said, so first you, doctor tells you, you've got this disease. And you go, Achha, I've got that disease. He says, this is the medicine. And you say, I, I, this doctor I trust. The doctor has proven himself by getting a degree from Flana University. He's got a job as a doctor. So I have faith in this doctor. And he gives you the medicine. But if you brought it home and you put it up on a shelf, and worship the medicine to see man kitani. You didn't actually do it. Kitani. So Mara says ki man kita means to follow it, means take the medicine. So if Gurbani was our doctor, and Guruji is our doctor, Mira Bad Guru Gobinda. He Guru is our doctor, Har Har Nam Okudamukadeve Karte Jamki Panda. He gives me the, the medicine of the Nam. So Maharaj is saying here, Sunya Manya Man Kita, follow it and then Man Kita Pao. Then you get the love. So this whole system, Muguru is telling us, is designed to make us fall in love. <coughs> why is it love? Why, why fall in love? Is it not important just to follow God? Is it important to love God? Is it not better just to follow? Some people have an idea, worship God from far away. So in Sikhi it says, Ki Gobinda Pao Pagatka Bhuka. So, da, Gobinda Pao Pagat Da Pukha. Guru, um, Guru has given by Gurdashi the honor of being the key to Guru Granth Sahib Ji, Kunji. And by Gurdashi writes this that Wahi Guru is thirsty for love, is hungry for love. And Guru Gobind Ji says to us, Ki Sajaka Ho Sunle Ho Sabe, Jin Prem Kiyo, Din Hi Prabhayo. So, if we don't love Wahi Guru, then we won't get to Wahi Guru. And if we don't love Waheguru, then Waheguru is not going to get from us what he wants. What Waheguruji wants from us is love. So if we don't fall in love, if we just keep Waheguruji at arm's distance, then we're actually not using 
the benefit of Gurbani. Because Gurbani here is to get, make us fall in love. So it's like we looked at the medicine, but we didn't drink it. And Asr Nihoya. You might have looked at it, you might have drank it, but we didn't take it at the right time. We didn't take it at the dosage required. The dosage required is quite high. Take it big time and fall in love. Let it affect you. So when we're going to sing Simran later on in a little while, we're going to focus on these words, that we should try and fall in love with Vaigu. Here in the Saad Sangat, Gurwani says, Ki Saad Sangat ke asre prabsyo rangalai. That in the Sangat, with the Ashra of the Sangat, Ashra means with the support of the Sangat, I fell in love with my Vaigu. So this is the system. We're sitting in a system right now designed by Guru Nanak Dev Ji. The system is singing Gurbani, singing name of Waheguru Ji. In the Saad Sangat, we fall in love with God. And everybody wants to fall in love with God. All the people out there saying, I don't believe in God. You don't love God. It's a big problem. How do you fall in love with God? Guru Ji makes a system. How do you fall in love with God? Sunya, Manya, Man Kita, Pao. This is the system. And then, Maharaj goes on, keep this, like I'll give you an example now about love. Because there's a little bit of love and then there's unconditional love, giving yourself to your Guru. And a good example, before we do the sermon, we talk about the, the, the person who got the Guru Gaddi from Guru Nanak. The person that Guru Nanak Dev Ji felt was worthy to become the next Guru. That was Guru Angad Dev Ji, Pai Lena. Let's look at that relationship because for us, that's like the perfect relationship. This is the person who became the most perfect Sikh of the first Guru. So the founder of our faith, Guru Nanak Dev Ji, found that Pai Lena was the person who was worthy of carrying on the light that they had from Vaheguru. The Pratak Jyot of Vaheguru was given to Pai Lena and he became Guru Angad. And it's an interesting story about Pai Lena because, you know, with them, there was never a case they doubted their Guru. When they knew Gurbani, they obviously done save of Guru Nanak for so long. But one thing with them is, they loved Guru Nanak so much, they didn't question their word. There was once a time when Guru Nanak said to their son that there's no more prashad. And they said to their sons, go and shake that tree, and there's a tree that doesn't have fruit. He said, bring Mithyari down from that tree. And they said to their sons, you go and do it. And, you know, Baba Sri Chan said, there's no fruits on that tree. It's not a fruit bearing tree. Mara says, go and shake it. There's fruit on it. No. So, he didn't do it. Then they asked Lakshmi Chand. He said, it's not a fruit bearing tree. Why should I go and do it? It's silly. It's silly, they said. Then they asked Pai Lena. Lena, go and shake that tree. And Pai Lena said, Sat Bhajan. And off he went, full faith, shook the tree. Lo and behold, Mithyari did fall down. Because Gunan Deji told him that it would. Lena, oh, what was he going to doubt Gunan Deji for? So, when we look at our life, there's many times we think, what is the point of coming to Gurdwara? What is the point of waking up early and doing Simran? Because there is a point. The fall is there, but only the person who follows it will get the fall. And the last story of Gunan Devji and Bailena, Gunan Devji tested the six. They started to act all crazy a little bit. And they walked off into the, into the, into the forest. They had their hair all over the place. They looked like they'd gone, off, gone, gone a bit mad. And the Sikhs started following them. Obviously, because that's their Guru. And Guruji started to throw away money, copper coins. Some people picked those up and said, you know what, he's gone anyway. I'll take it and go. Holy, holy, some of the ones that didn't have much faith, they left. Slowly, when I went further into the woods, they started throwing away silver coins. And the people that had been a little bit on the right, oh, I don't know, I don't know, they took those ones and they left. Then finally, Guruji started throwing away gold coins. Just, people, you know what? I missed out on the bronze, I missed out on the silver. Look what I got, I got the gold, let's take this and run. So they left. In the end, there was only a few six left with Guru Nanak Dev Ji. And they came to a clearing. There was a clearing in the woods, and there was there a, a shroud over some fire. Firewood, there was a dead body. Guru Nanak Dev Ji came to his dead body, and he had his eyes all wild, and all the six are looking at him. His sons are there, Babuddha Ji is there. Even we're talking about Babu Daji now, 125 years old. Babu Daji, at that time, Guruji said, somebody eat this dead body, Murda Mukhao. And people were shocked and horror. I mean, come on, eating a dead body. Pailanaji steps forward. Everybody else said, no, no, no. 
Bhai Alam Ji steps forward and he goes, Maharaj, Nuran Dev Ji, should I start at the head or at the feet? The only question that is not, how, you know, say, when I say jump, you say how high. That's, that's, what it, that's, that's their leader. They're just going to fall. They say, they say, Maharaj, tell me, head or feet? And Maharaj said, feet. They picked up the, the cloth. There's prashad there. It wasn't their body, it was prashad. And this is what Pailanaji did. He picked up the prashad and he offered it to everybody there first. He said to the sons, he said, Tusi daoge, Tusi daoge. Because he said, ki, as we say, Vand ke shakna. Vand means share, then shaku. And I said, that's where it comes from. Vand ke shakna. They didn't eat themselves first, they gave it to everybody else. And Mara said to, Gunan Deji said to Pailena, you see, that's why you are the, going to be the next guru. <laughs> because before you even took the treasure that I gave you, you shared it with everybody else. So then, Gunan Deji did the tikka and the panch pese and the coconut to Pailena. And they said, now you are Angad. You're my Ang. You're my limb. And then when they became Guru Angad Dev Ji. So this idea of unconditional surrender is love in Sikhi. Sikhi love is not Dunyavi love. Fall in love, couple of years later, I don't like you anymore. Divorce, see you later. Yeah? Okay, and you get, that's Dunyavi love. The Sikhi love is one of those unconditional loves when you give yourself. So giving yourself is, is absolutely part of pure love in Sikhi. And Guruji says, in Gunadeji gives us the advice, Maharaj says ki, Jeto Prem Khilan Ka Chao, Sir Tal Tali Gali Meri Yao. If you want to play this game of love, give yourself to me. So we think to ourselves, ki, there's in the first beginning, Gunadeji Ji has Pailana giving himself, 10 generations later, not generations, obviously not 10 generations, it was about 8 generations, Guru Gobi Singh Ji asked the Khalsi at the same time, Who's now going to give themselves to me? Same question. Same test. At that time, five people. Look, see how long it took to make five, six. At Gunadeji's time, only one Sikh is willing. Guru Gobi Singh Ji managed to make five. In one way, the whole ten Gurus made five, six. Because when the Panjipyari were ready, then Guruji said, Khalsa Mera Satguru Pura. The Khalsa is my Guru. Khalsa mera sajan sura. Khalsa meri jaan ki jaan. Khalsa mera pind paran. The Khalsa is my guru. That's when the Guru Khalsa was given the guruship because there was five people now ready to become the Guru's pure, unbelieving, sorry, unbelieving, fully believing six. It's surrender. So Mara says ki sunya manya man ki ta pao. Once we fall in love, then what's the effect of this? Then the next line, Antar Gat Tirat Marna. Here's the advice being given to us now. Antar Gat Tirat Mal Now. Inside us, Mara says, you will go inside. Antar. Antar is inside and Gat is the state. So inside you, there's a place to go to. Mara says, inside that Antar Gat Tirat. So there's a place, like you visit a Tirat. Mara says, this time we're going to go in. If you want to do this, listen to my Bani, accept it as true. Follow what it does, have love for it, and then you will go inside. And inside you, in that tirat, mal now. Now is the wash. It's not the naam, it's now for washing. Mala says, now you will wash inside you, and you wash the dirt. Now, it's important, keep, we explain, and look at what is the dirt. Before we even look at um, washing the dirt, we need to find out what that dirt is. Is it what we think in normal life? It's a very really important point here because previously we looked at tirat tap deyada dan. These are things that people do to get spiritual. Uh, they do something for the sake of God, to achieve God, for the sake of winning some kind of favor with God. So it's not normal part that we're talking about here. It's not normal man we're talking about here. Maharaj is talking about ki, how can I achieve, not like dirty clothes, we're talking about how to achieve the highest state. In that highest state, the dirt, Maharaj is telling us, is this desire. The desire is the dirt. The desire to go to Tirith, the desire to go to do Dawn, these things create desires. And we can say Vashna or Vashna. Vashna, I was listening to something Maskeen, so don't give, attribute this to me. Eh? Something Maskeen was telling me this in, the, in his Katha. He said there's three types of desires in this world. One is Hankar Vashna, to get pride. You do something out of pride. 
then lobe, greed, greed vashna, and then calm, calm vashna, lust or desire. These three things are the vashnas that we have. Because we have these desires, then the previous actions that we were going to do, they don't get anything for us because they're done out of some kind of desire. They are not nishkam. Now Mara says, now, antar now, the effect of that is to become nishkam, to lose desire. So this is the thing that, that sometimes you see the katha that um, we do at a, at a society, uh, we're not saying in the Gurdwara stage, but at society level we talk about Sikhi, we don't talk about this part too much, how to free yourself from desire itself. Not to fr- fight your kaam, kro, dobo, hankar, but to go beyond that and live desireless. And to, do, to understand this, we're going to go into, um, listen to look at Pai Gurdashi, and also look at Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji. So we'll go into that in a second, but obviously the most important thing is we go inside and we do now with love. So what we're going to do now is just do a bit of Simran and focus upon loving our Guru and focus upon just really surrendering ourselves to our Guru in love. And with this pure love, we're going to get slowly, slowly washed away. Mara says in Gurbani very clearly, Ki la tove. I'm dirty, the, wa- the dirt will never wash away, but Har ka naam kot paap khove Vahiguru's name washes away thousands and untold amount of paap So we'll do some similar and then we'll come back
Maharaj tells us ki, that you can say Vaheguru a hundred times, but once Vaheguru blesses us, we can experience Vaheguru just through this name. It's so powerful. And Sikhi could be condensed down, Maharaj says, ki, you can condense Sikhi to the Mool Mantra. The second way we say the Mool Mantra is Ik Om Ka, this one creator made the whole world with the Om and then Sat Naam. The Naam of that one, we can go to Sat. This is the Sat. The Sat is Vaheguru is Sat. We are a Sat. We are not true. So, to understand the male, we'll go into these three things because Bhai Gurdasi says that actually we are a product of unfulfilled desires. Had we no desires, we would have become one with Vaheguru. So, right now, every single one of us, especially me, full of these desires, this Vashna, this Vashna, Ahankar Vashna, Lob Vashna, and Kaam Vashna. And Pai Gurdas says, ki, Jug Jug Mer Sarir ka Basna Badda Ave Jai. That since time immemorial, beginning of the Jug Jug, and every Yug, since the beginning of time, my body is tied, it's got a bondage. What's my ties? What's the thing that's keeping me tied up? This Basna Badda Ave Jai. Because of the bondage of these desires, I've been coming and going. I'm stuck, I'm tied. So this mal actually is desire. Desire is the mal that's keeping all of us tied down. Ehi hegiye, the biggest problem. So Maharaj is telling us ki antaragat tirat mal now. Wash inside. Inside we're going to wash. And what's going to happen is that we're going to lose these desires. So this word nirmal, it's interesting because we say nirpo, nir bad. Nir means without and po is fear and var is enmity. So nir mal means without mal, without dirt. Nirmal. So to become without dirt, to become pure, that's the same question. We can say give us a chiara ho ye, give a kude to tepal. How do you become such yar? Such without this man, then Mara says ki hukum rajai chana So Guruji is telling us if we go in the way of the will. If we accept, or we don't have desire, we live up, give up desire, then we'll be walking in the will as well. There's a very deep theory of desire as well. Because by getting rid of desire, we will get rid of the thing that's keeping us tied away from hukum. We'd accept the hukum. And in um, Gurbani, Gur, uh, in uh, Anansai, which we do every day, or we should do every day, the full Anansai, uh, Guru Amadasi talks about uh, man a lot and talks about Vashna as well. And Mara says very clearly ki, to go inside, we have to wash in something. Mara says, Manatovo, Shabad Lago. Wash your mind and stick to the Shabad. So the Gurbani is the detergent. This is the soap to wash ourselves with. Mara says, ki, Manatovo, Shabad Lago, Harsio Reho, Chit Lai. Keep your chit, your consciousness on Vaheguru. Stay in that place. Don't come away. When you come away, you're back into desire. You're back into other things. And in, Gurba, in Gurbani, Maharaj talks about that this, uh, this, there's, a, there's a state called Sahaj, which he talked about before, Turi Avastha, the highest state. This highest state, Sahaj Avastha, Maharaj describes, Maharaj says, Karmi Sahaj na upje, vin Sahaj sasana jai. The Karam, and this is the deep philosophy, Karmi Sahaj na upje. Through Karam, we don't get Sahaj. Now this Karam in Gurbani is translated in three ways. Firstly, Karam is described as our actions, what we do. But also, Karam refers to Karam Khan, into rituals. So the previous actions that we talked about, also they have desire, but they also are rituals. People do them, they Karam Khan, that's, that's called ritualism. So, if I don't get a sahaj, I can't get these desires. And if I don't have, uh, if I do karam, I don't get sahaj. So, what should I do? You see? And then the answer again is, Antargati Ratamal now. So, we wash ourselves with Shabbat. And Mara says ki in Gurbani, Gur Parasadi Jini Aapatajya. With the Guru's grace, the person that gets rid of this ego. Uh, 
who forgets his mind and accepts Guru. So we have this idea of Gurmukh and Manmukh. The deepest level of that actually is that the Gurmukh refuses to accept the desires of the mind. The Manmukh mind is saying, do this, do this, do this, live in desire. The Gurmukh is saying, I'm not going to listen to the, good, the mind, I'm going to listen to my Guru. So Guru Parasadi Chini Apatajya, who left himself Har, vas, har Vasna Samani. This Vasna, Vasna, same word, Har Vasna Samani. They become absorbed in one desire only. That desire is for Har, Har Vasna. So we leave this Vasna, the other love Vasna of calm and of Ahankar and of law. And this time Maharaj says that we will go into the Vasna of Har. Then Maharaj says, Ki, you know what we say at the end, Maharaj goes upstairs and we say, Ki, Maharaj, we only ask for one thing, your Naam. Same thing from the beginning, beginning. Ki Maharaj says, Ki Raj na chaum, Mukut na chaum, Man Preet Charan Kamalari. Or Tera Kiya Meetha Lage. Same thing. I accept desire. Whatever happens, I'm happy with. But Har Naam Padaharat Nanak Mange. Nanak asks for the name. So we make our desire of for outward things. Now we make our desire Har Vasna Samani. Then Maharaj says, Kehe Nanak Chal Pagta Jugo Jug Nirali. That the way of the saints is Nirali. This comes from that same line, Ki Khanyo Tikki Valo Niki. This path Maharaj is talking about is very hard to desire, to actually leave desires. And I want to take a step back from Sikhi and look at another religion that we're very fond of, we, we know a lot of but in the West. It's a very popular religion, Buddhism. And Buddhism, there's two concepts that we all know about. One is this idea of being equipoise. Equipoise means unaffected by desire. Yeah? It's supposed to be at a highest state where you see no bad, see no good, you have no desire for anything. We know that that's a very big concept in Buddhism. But this concept is exactly the same from what I'm talking about in Sikhi. That this is the Sahaja Avastha. Sahaja Avastha, and I want to go into Shabba Guru Amr Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji. Mara says in this, this was a Hukumnama early on this week actually. So the <laughs> inspiration again. Mara says, Sorta Mahalla Nova. Jonar Dukh Me Dukh Nahi Mane. That person in Dukh or Dukh Nahi Manda. There's no Dukh in Dukh. Jonar, that person who doesn't have Dukh in Dukh. Sukh Sanehe Ar Pain Nahi. But also doesn't, isn't affected by pleasure. Onu Sukh Bini Haga. He's not interested in Sukh. Sanehe, affection. No affection. And also Pain, no fear. Then Nahi Jake Kanchan Mati Mane. Gold and dust is the same. Unaffected. Guru Tegh Bahadaji spent 20 years being Pakti underground before they became the Guru. And this is what they, their Bani is very much sometimes like what you might see in the Buddhist writings. Maharaj is saying clearly here, this is the level we want to reach to. No praise and no slander. Doesn't praise anybody. There's no need to praise anybody. Wahiguru is everything. And then doesn't do Nindya of anybody. Maharaj says, Ki, Lob Moho Abhimana. Doesn't have any law, no greed, no attachment, and no pride. It's sahajavasta, like water. Whatever you throw into it, it comes back as water. Calm again. Mara says, Ki, Harak sog te rahe niaro. Unaffected by joy or sorrow. Harak is joy, pleasure. Sog is dukh. Harak sog te rahe niaro. Nahe maan apimana. No honor and no dishonor. So if you cuss that person, they don't care. If you praise them, they don't care. The Mara says, Asa, Mansa, Sagal Tyage. All hopes and desires they let go. Isn't this the same thing we talked about? Same thing. To accept the hukum fully. They're not interested in what's going on in the world. Mara says, Ki, they have no hopes and desires. Jagte Rahe Nirasa. They have no asa. Asa, we say desire. They have no asa. They do have one asa for Wahiguru. That's it. Mara give me that name. As we say in Gurbani Ki, Mang. Mangana, Manganika, Harjas Gurte Mangana. There's one desire I do ask for. The good thing to ask for is to ask for praise of Wahiguru from your Guru. Guruji, give me the praise of Wahiguru. And then Mara says, Kam Krod, no sexual desire, no anger. And inside their heart, the head carter, Brahm Nivasa. Inside them is Brahm. Wahiguru is inside their heart. And then Mara says, This is all by Guru's grace. All by Guru's grace. Mara says, Guru Kirpa. That person who gets blessed with this state from the Guru's grace, that person understands this way. What's this way, this Jugat? 
तो जो कि इसकी नानक लीन पयो गोविंद सियो जो पानी संग पानी नानक इज बिकम वन विद वाहे गुरु लाइक वाटर विद वाटर बिकॉज़ व्हेन वी बिकम वन विद वाहे गुरु महाराज इज टेलिंग अस दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द स्टेट सो समटाइम्स वी थिंक अबाउट द यू नो पंजाबी इज अ क्वाइट फन लविंग हैप्पी चेयरफुल काइंड ऑफ गाइस या and we think that's the good sikhi way or we think about the warriors who are like in battle and fighting maharaj is telling us that the highest state we're reaching is this the person who can fight and kill someone and not have desire to kill that's the state that they want to make if the person who can do something which rest of the world says is wrong they can do that but they're free from desire the same way that guru har gobind sahib ji he met a pandit who laughed at him he goes you're saying on the gaddi of guru nanak dev ji look at you you're on a horse You got your jewelry, big fine clothes. You're living in a in a car uh, tucked, which is like a big. Uh, you're supposed to be uh, uh, the seat of Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Nanak Shah Fakir. Nanak was a fakir. What are you? You're working as a bazaar. And he said, "You don't understand. Inside, I'm free. I don't need any of this. This is just the way of the world that they're playing. So we're we're living in the world. Maharaj says, 'Live in the world, but live beyond the world.' This is the state Maharaj is talking about. Sahaj Vasta." and this is all by gur prasad gur kripa jay nar ko ki tin hi jugat pehchani so the guru's grace now the other state we can talk about here is in same with buddhism is mindfulness they had this concept of mindfulness now we understand that we we had the concept of equipoise of sahaj but also mindfulness se mara sakhi prabhu yo lag rahe ho mera chit then let my consciousness be stuck with wahe guru and some muskin ji was talking about something very interesting they said ki jara gur sikh hai he doesn't ask ki maharaj give me one lakh naam simran don't let me say wah guru 100000 times they don't ask for that what did they ask let me say it once why did they ask this let me say it once because when they said it once they ask it again they ask it again just let me remember you for the next second don't worry about what's going to happen tomorrow day after tomorrow i'm planning tomorrow morning i'll wake up and do simran that would be good Mara said, "You oh, forget your planning for tomorrow morning. Can you not know? You are going to you are going to live to next tomorrow morning. You might get hit in a car on the way back." Mara says, "This now, here, this moment, ab, now, do it. Now, just think. Mara, next second, let me remember you. Next second, let me remember you. This is what Guru Sahib is telling us. Keep forget about the future and don't worry about the past. What's happened? Live in the ever present remembrance of the name. Ever present. Remember why Guru is now." just right now so mara says in gurbani that let my mind be conscious to you to connect it to you now prabhu se lag rahe ho mera cheet aad ant sada sahai from the beginning to the end is always with me tan hamara me this naam is going to be the best friend we can make and let's stay with our friend all the time and let's stay with him right now and mara says that turi avastha turi means always going rukdini not waking up and then stopping waking up and stopping So it's a very deep state, every second. That's why it's just swas swas japo now. So we can understand now that although we've got this consciousness of mindfulness, we've also got this idea of a uh, sahaj. There's one more state, Mara says, which is akal. We have to become akal. Akal means outside of time, and the way we can become outside of time in Guru Sikhi is to stay in now. When we stay in that now, then the previous state we don't worry about, and we have no desires for the future. So we stay in the ever-present akal moment. This moment doesn't end; it keeps going. So it's quite deep concept. But if we can stay in Nam Simran and stay in connected to Wahe Guru, this is the state that Maharaj gets to. This is what will happen. So, in honor of that, we'll just do a little bit more Simran and just focus upon that exact line. Let's stay connected to Wahe Guru right now, right now, and this stays. Maharaj, ki, you can bless me with this state. Only you can bless me that my desires fall away from me. and i start walking this deep path of ever present remembering your name wahi guru 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 wahi guru
Dev Ji and a Guru Sikh came up to Guru Arjan Dev Ji, his name was Kapoor Dev. And Kapoor Dev said to Guru Arjan Dev Ji, Maharaj, show me the Sikh who is your favourite Sikh. The story is here by Gyani Gyan Singh, the same person whose Dohre we sing at the end. You know, Guru Mani Ogrant, that's written by him. In the Intari Guru Khasa, the history of the Khasa, he says, he, Pai, Pai Kapoor Dev came to Guru Arjan Dev Ji, Maharaj said to him, he, there is in this pin of Shah Bajpur, there is a Sikh called Saman, by Saman. Go and meet him, he's Amritsar, in that area. And he went there, and he went to Pai Saman Ji. Pai Saman Ji Seva, you're a good Sikh, you've come to me, come sit down. They were resting, the family went to sleep, they, they were talking away. And while they were talking, Pai Saman Ji spends all his time uh, fixing these Dariyam. You know Dari Jere Hunde again. They were all ripped up and he was just fixing the whole time. And Kapoor Dev says, Pai Samanji, look, why are you doing this task now? Me and you are here talking. Why don't we just talk about Sikhi for a little while? And why are you just doing this Dariyam? He goes, you never know when they come to use. So then, he goes, okay, they're talking, they go to sleep. At night time, very early in the morning, unfortunately, Daku Age, Daku means Dakoits, robbers, to the village. And people went to fight the village, the Dakus, these Dakoits and robbers, and basically Pai Samanji's son got killed. Now, if somebody dies, then there's Absos. So the Absos, the people come to his house. Those Dariya that Pai Samanji was fixing, they, 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 they put out on the floor for the Sangha to sit on when they were being so. Because obviously, you know, on the outside of the mud, it's going to get muddy if people sit there. So that's the exact Dari they were fixing. Then Kapoor they realized that Pai Samanji must have known this was going to happen. He knew it was going to happen, that's why he's fixing it at night time. So he says to him, look, you're one of Guru Arjan Dev Ji's most loved Sikhs. Your own son was going to die and you knew, why didn't you say to him, he, stop it Maharaj, why don't you do bait to Guru Arjan Dev Ji? When you were sitting here with me, why don't you do a das? And Pai Kapoor Dev said at that time, Pai Saman Singh said, he, look, this body is fake. It's going to die anyway. What's the point? I'm going to die anyway. My son came from Wai Guru. He's going to go back to Wai Guru. We're all going to die. Kis nal kiche dosti sab jagi chalan hal. Who do I make friends with? Everybody's going to leave. So he says, Ki, why ask for anything for this body? This isn't my real life. This is just one life I'm living. How many other lives have I had? Do I ask for every single life? Do I go back in every single life for the people that I loved in those lives as well? It goes on forever. And then he says, he asks for Naam. Don't ask for anything else, ask for Naam. And at this point, he said to him, ki, Tasa harak, tasa usog. Sada anand. Ta nahi biyog, tis nahi biyog. That as is joy, we said harak is joy. Tasa harak, tasa usog. As that's how it's sadness to him. And then, Sada anand, tis nahi biyog. That person's eternal bliss. And is never separated from Waheguru. The state that they were talking about there, totally carefree. Hukam rajai chalana nanak likhya na. They're living in the hukam. They have no desire for the future. They have no worries about the past. They're living in the ever present now. So, how do we get there? Again, it comes back to the same thing. Manatovo shabd lago. Wash your mind with the shabd, the Gurbani, the Guru shabd. Harsyo reho chitlai. Stay connected to Wahai Guru. The Mara says, Ki nanak gur parasadi nanak says, Now, from the Guru's grace, we will get Sahaj. Gur parasadi sahaj upje, eh sahsa, eh This is how those desires will go. This is how we will get Sahaj avasta. But the Guru's grace will stay connected in the Naam. And those two things that I talked about earlier, that Buddhism talks about, mindfulness, and also living in this equipoise, they come as a direct result of Gurbani. See, that's the, so when we take the medicine of Gurbani, that's what will happen to us. The Guru's Kirpa will have, have, will have an effect upon us. And this is what will happen, Mahara is telling us the state that we will reach. So then Mahara says, Ki, after this, the, 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 the Siv say to him, Ki, okay, you talked about Ki, Ti Rattap Diyadha Daan, Jeko Paave, Til Kaman, Sunya, Manya, Man Kita, Pao, through love, they get this state. Antargat tirat maranao. They washed off all their desires. What then? 
Won't those people then earn any karams, any any karam kaan, ritualisms, or they will not earn any desires in this world? Mara says, how do they live? And Guru says, ki sab tere, main na hi koi. Those people that go on that path, and we're going to sing a shout from Sukhani side in, in a little while, those people that walk on this path, what did they do? They say to Vaheguru, sab tere, main na hi koi. No, nothing is of mine. And this can mean that basically they have totally humility. Not only do they have love now, and they've also lost their desires, but now they have humility. And Kabir Ji says, Ki pehla maran kabool, jeevan ki chhad aas. First, accept death is going to come. So you have that fear, ki we're going to get judged. Jeevan ki chhad aas, forget your desire to live. Ki jina ya, when you can get now. What's the point? What's the point? Get now instead. Fir ki manna, manna hai ni. Yeah? They become the bottom dust of everybody. They go, There's nothing, nothing of mine. But then Mara says, ki vin gun ki te na hoi. This is an important line. So this can be translated in a couple of ways. First one is, without this gun of humility, this gun, we can't do bhakti. As Mara says to us, ki, when we go to Harmandar Sahib, the first thing we do is go down the steps. Without humility, we can't do bhakti. Because what Mara says to us in Sukhani Sahib ki, Aapas ko ja pala ka hawe, tise palai nikit na hawe. The one who calls himself good, palai doesn't come near him. The one who calls himself the worst, ki Mara says, I am nirgun. Yeah, that person gets all the, all the full, all the fall. Aapas ko ja jane nicha, so ganye sab te ucha. That person is getting this. Guru Nanak Dev Ji himself says, I am the nicha. Nichu hon at I am the lowest of the low, Maharaj is telling. That's why he's the highest of the high. Because he destroyed his ego. He destroyed himself and he got Vaheguru. Aap chod. Leaving himself, he found Vaheguru. So when we say in Anand Sahib ki, Aisa Satguru Jai Mile. If I found such a Guru, I could give myself to that Guru. Aisa Satguru Jai Mile, this no sir son piye. Vichyo aap jai. If I lose myself, by giving myself to my Guru, then I will get that Har Aap Amulakhen. That, that's the key. So here's the thing, when we talked about last week, have we ever been missold Sikhi? There was a, a video we put up on the YouTube channel. The thing is, if you want to sell somebody something, say to them, this is what it is. What is Sikhi? That's the question. What is Sikhi? Sikhi is a path to that most invaluable thing, God. No. What are you going to talk about it? To become one with the divine creator, Nanak Limpa Yoga Obin, Sujo Pani Sampani. That's what's on offer here. That's the prize. Mara says it comes by Guru Prasad. The Guru Prasad is, comes to us when we give ourselves to our Guru. When we leave ourselves and say, Guru, everything is in your hand. Sab gun tere, main na hi koi, vin gun ki te pagat na hai. Without this humility and sacrificing ourselves to our Guru, we can't do that bhakti. Because we're holding back. We're holding back on ourselves. We believe it's in our hands. Mara says, you don't believe it's in your hands. Believe it's in my Guru's hands. Give yourself to Guru. Leave yourself. Give yourself to Guru. Sab guna tere, main na hi koi. Vin gun ki te pagat na hoi. But also, we have to go back to the guns that we also do need to do. Mara says that in Gurbani, we do have to do some guns. Sat, Santokh, Daya, Nimrta, Pyar. These are the five qualities of Sikhi. Sat, Truth. Live in truth. Then, Santok, have contentment. Daya, have compassion for other living beings. Nimrata, keep yourself low. Sabgun Tere. And then, Pyar, have that power. Sunya, Manya, Mankita, Pao. Without these qualities, Pagti ni hundi. Vingun kite Pagat na You can't become Pag. You can't do Pagti without these guns. So then, they ask him, okay, if you said to us, this is the way to become free of all desires. To follow, follow this, what should we listen to? Ki suniye, ki maniye. What should we listen to? What should we, what should we, what should we follow? Then Mara says, Swast at bani barmao, sat suhan, sada manachao. This, this is, there's like four translations of this line. It took a lot of time to understand this line this week, to be honest. Mara says ki swast. Now the word swast comes from this idea of well-being, healthy. And that is ki, we say, we say, Sareer Swast, Kheen Somen. That if my body was healthy, Sareer Swast. And from that, the word comes Kalyan, to do well-being of somebody. 
And the ultimate thing that's healthy for us is Naam. Saragaroka Okud Naam. Kalyan Rup Mangal Gunagam. So the b- best thing we can do for our body is Naam. For our health is Naam. The dis- the, 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 all, the, all the diseases, the, the, the medicine for that, as we talked about, medicine is Naam. Kalyan Rup Mangal Gunagam. Sing the praises of the one who is the very form of well being. Kalyan is Wahiguru. Swast Kalyan. So Swast Art. With Swast, this Kalyan, this Wahiguru made the, this uh, Wahiguru, Kalyan Rup Wahiguru made the Bani. This Bani of Wahiguru, Burma coming from Wahiguru, Burma. So this Brahm Bani has come from that Kalyan Rup Wahiguru who's always thinking for us, who's always very Deala for us. He's, Mehrwan, Sahib Mehrwan, Sahib Mira, Mehrwan. Ji Sagalko De Daan. This gift, Maharaj is telling us to the Sids and to us, this gift of Bani, the Brahm Bani, is the gift from Vaheguru that's going to give us this Kalyan. It's going to make, save us. And it is a form of Kalyan. So Maharaj says, Ki, if we go down this route, the thing to sing is Gurbani. The thing to follow, listen to, is Gurbani. The thing to get, um, Follow fully is Gurbani, thing to get love from is Gurbani, and then Sat Suhan, Sada Manchao. That person lives in Sat, is truth, and the Wahiguru is true. Suhan means beautiful. Suhan, so Wahiguru is beautiful, and the person who follows this Bani becomes beautiful. We say, Ki Panch Parvan, Panch Parvan, Panche Pave Darge Man, Panche Soho Hai Dar Rajan. They become beautiful in that court. That Soho is the same Suhan. Sat Suhan, Sada Man. Chau. Those people are always in bliss. Why? Because they never leave the present moment. They never go outside the present moment. They stay in this present remembrance of the name. Therefore, they are always in bliss. Chau. And Wahiguruji is also always in bliss. Maharaj is not in Dukhi ever. Wahiguru is not walking around Dukhi. Wahiguru is always in bliss. So we, if we follow Wahiguru, is the Anandarup. Maharaj is Anandarup. We can also live. Nanaka Pagata Sada Vigas. By following this Bani Maharaj is telling us this is the way to achieve this. So we've got about 10-15 minutes. We'll just go through this uh, body, uh, this Pada, one of the, one of the lines from uh, one of the Ashtapadis from Sukhmi side that discusses this a little bit. And it talks about ki, what is the state of this person. Maharaj says, ki, Eho har ras pave jan koe. Very few people get this ras. Ras means drink or, or juice. So call it God juice if you want to call it. It's easy to understand it. Very few people, Maharaj says, get this har ras, God juice. The God juice that Maharaj wants us to drink is not daru, it's not alcohol. Maharaj says, sansar rogi naam daru. The medicine, daru, is naam. Maharaj says, drink this naam and experience it. When you have that experience, Maharaj, that's the tirith. What are you going to wash yourself with? With that juice. Har ras. Eho har ras pave jan koe. Then, Amrit Pive, Amrit Sohoi. That person drinks the Amrit of Wahiguru. Inside they drink Amrit. What happens to them? Amrit Sohoi. They become forever. They don't die. That's it. They've, it's transcended death. Mara says, Ki then, Us ka, ka, ka nahi ka de binas. That person never is destroyed. Because he never gets destroyed. Jake man pragate guntas. With that person whose mind opens up, the person who actually achieves this, Sunya. Mania man kita pao. Inside they wash. That person will never be destroyed because Wahiguru themselves makes that person pargat. And then, art pahed har ka namli. That's the state of this person. Every moment of every day that person focuses on the rock of Wahiguru's name. Art pahed har ka namli. Such upade sevakode. Then Wahiguru is telling us, look, this person who is Guruji is telling us, this, this, this is a true teaching. That Wahiguru is giving us this Bani, this Sat Suhan Staman Chao. This is the gift that Maharaj is giving us. How? Swast Art Bani Barmao. This Brahm Bani is that. And then Maharaj says, Ki, Moh Maya Ke Sangari. That person is not affected by Maya. They stay outside of Maya. They stay outside of desires. And then, Man, O Moh Maya Ke Sangari, Man Me Rakhe Har Har Ek. Har Har. When it's repeated, it means. Simran. When it's repeated, it's har har, that means it's remembering why you. Man me rakhe har har ek andhkar di pat pargase nanak param moh dukh tate nase. 
No, no, Mar 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 telling us that if in this darkness, when we close our eyes and we see darkness, that's not the normal state to be. The normal state, Maharaj tells us, is Andhakar Deepak Parigasti. There should be a light. And Gurbani tells us, let's get that light inside us to shine. Guruji is able to do that. When we close our eyes, we won't see darkness then. We'll see light. Andhakar Deepak Parigasti, Nanak Param Moho Dukh Tate Nase. Nanak says that the Param, the doubt, the illusion, Moho, the attachment, Dukh, even the sadness, it will get destroyed.
in this body that we've now come, we talked about Naam, Naam and Naam, talked about Homi, we did a whole session in, in the one of the classes just on Homi after the second body. Now we've come to this point, we wanted to focus just today on this deep concept that Maharaj is talking about of Sahaj, because this is the other side of this. You have the thing we're trying to fight, the thing we're trying to get. We're trying to get Naam, stay in Naam, but also we're trying to fight this desires. At the deepest level we understand that there's no Dukh, there's no Sukh, there's no friend, there's no enemy, there's no good, there's no bad, there's nothing for us to even care about if we live in the ever-present name. So this is a very deep thing, but we have to discuss it, because if we don't discuss it, then people say, oh, they have this no, we don't have this concept in Sikhi. It is there. We have to aim for that. But like we say, Mara Sikhi, we can go backwards now. From where we are now, we can go back. So we read good, we get Gurbani, and we live at Anand. Then, Sat Suhan Sadaman Chao, we can go back. And the same six lines, they work backwards. So we start off here, then Mala says, what's going to happen next? Kikuna tere, nahi koi. Then we start to destroy, we realize everything is from Wahai Guru. We destroy our ego. And by that, we are doing Sunya, Maniya, Mankita, Pao. Antar ka tirat We wash ourselves. And now we can go back to the first things that we talked about. Tirat tap the other dan. And actually, when we're free of desires, those things take on a different meaning. It's quite... Gurbani is uh, amazing in that way because it's Brahmani. And if we go backwards, we can say, actually, Tirat, Tirat Naam and Jao, Tirat Naam hai. Then those people wash themselves in Naam. When they say, when they say Tirat Tap, what Tap do they do? The Sikh who is falling this way, the Tap they say, Maharaj, Jap Tap Sanjam Taram Na Kamaya. Well, I didn't do anything, I'll give myself to you. Then they start doing Tapasya, Bahari Kiti Tapasya. Pai Gudas says that Gunan Dej did Pari Kiti Tapasya. And they found Wai Guru. Then they focus, they get the right way. They realize such Upadesh, Seva Kode, they got the such Upadesh, then they follow it. Then, Daya. Mara says, do Daya as well. Daya Jani Ji Ki Kich Punnadan Kare. They do have compassion, we talked about this before. But they do it with the right reasons. They're not asking for anything from it, they're doing it Nishkam. They free themselves of this desire. They're living in Sahaj. And then they do Daan as well. Dat Daan. Mara says ki Daan karna bahut zuri hai ka. Because if we do one ke shakna, then we are no use to anybody. We have to do one ke shakna. That's one is something given to us. That we should be giving to a society. Mara tells us ki grieb da mu Guru di Golok. The gr- poor person, their mouth is the Golok of Guruji. Guru Har Gobind Sahib, he told us that. So reading this backwards, we can say that this path the Maharaj is showing us, is a very deep path where we're trying to do both things. We have the medicine, Maharaj is telling us, this medicine is Gurbani. But the effect of that will be that people won't know us. will be very different. It's very dangerous. Imagine if you met somebody who had no desires. It's not normal because we're living in normality. We're living in Kaljuk. In Kaljuk, darkness is normal. Maharaj is saying, in Satjuk, people were like this. They had no, they had no attachment to anything. But those people are very virle kehi ke, eo har raspave jan koi. Very few people are able to live this life. But, like I'm not living that life. Don't think that I'm sitting here, I've got no desire. But this is the target. When we have a target, we can aim for it. So Gurbani is a medicine, it shows us where we have to go. Sunya, then Manya, then we have to do it. So when we see the, the, the medicine, then we start to follow it, at least then we can get the right destination, like a GPS. Like a GPS is showing us the direction. We need to go this way. Avoid desires, chant the name. Avoid desires, chant the name. Something bad happens, forget it. Hukam Rajai Chalna, go back to chanting the name. See, the GPS keeps on route. We miss an exit on the GPS, it says, turn left. And the next roundabout, go take the fourth exit, go back on yourself, and go back that way. This is the GPS of Guru. Mala says, forget what happens to you. Forget it, stick to the name. Stick to the name. So, obviously, we made many mistakes in today's Katha. Next week, we're going to talk about the different meanings of the same line, Ki Swast Ath Bani Barmao, Sat Suhan Suda Man Chau. It's a very different meaning to the same line. And that is all about that Maharaj made the world with the Naam. Because the yogis start asking, how did you make this world? And then we talk about what Maharaj, they ask questions. Kavan Suvela, Vakat Kavan, Kavan Thip, Kavan Vaad. So last, next week, we talk about cosmology. Maharaj's view of how the world was made and what should our focus be?
So Pulna Tukka Maaf Karni. If we can take anything from this, is that we should try and apply this to our life. Try and live desireless and focus upon these three Vashnas, calm, Hankar and Lo, to free ourselves because these are the things that are holding us down from soaring into the sky. Pulna Tukka Maaf Karni Ji. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ji Ka Vaheguru Vaheguru